people, how are you all doing? How are you keeping? As my little to my Muslim brothers and sisters, Ramadan Mubarak! <laughs> I'm sure we are all prepared for this Ramadan because it is here, like here already. Yeah, all welcome back to Keeping Up With Troll. Thank you for tuning in. If this is your first time stumbling on my video, please kindly subscribe to my channel, please. And do not just subscribe, watch my videos. Always watch my videos, please give it a thumbs up. Whatever the very strong suggestion you have to, you know, drop down there, please do it, do it, do it! Do it, drop that in the comment section. Thank you all to so my, you know, Returning subscribers, you guys are amazing. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate your care, your concern, your, you know, you're always pushing me to do better. Thank you so much, okay? On today's vlog, I'm going to be sharing with us the best tips, the tips to adopt during uh, Ramadan, and then the significance of Ramadan, and then the benefits we get to achieve in this very beautiful month. So guys, do not go away. Just continue watching this with me. Let's learn together, okay? Precious month packed with amazing benefits. And blessings we have all been preparing for is finally here yeah here yeah ramadan is here it's started already so yeah i'm very sure that almost all of the things we need is in place even if not all like almost all that we need are in place already so alhamdulillah we can give us like a brief explanation muslims all over the world prepare and fast for like approximately let's say 29 to 30 days sometimes we don't get to make it 30. We begin to do that with the appearance of the moon yeah before we can start our fasting during ramadan moon has to be sighted before the ramadan before the fasting begins okay so that is how it is done we don't just fast but we observe this fast by not eating during the day we only eat very early in the morning and towards the evening and that very early in the morning is um, called the sahur why that of the evening is called the iftar, okay? The food we eat is called the iftar, all right? So that is how we differentiate both food, okay? Yeah, we only eat twice during the month of Ramadan, okay? We eat very early in the morning and in the evening. We don't eat all through the day. Everything is done from sunrise to sunset, that is from dawn to dusk. So the month is called Ramadan, but some people call it Ramadan. Some people in their country, you know, we have different ways we pronounce some words. And then it all means the same, there's, there's a bit difference in the pronunciation but when you hear someone saying ramadan and ramadan it's still the same thing it's just the z and d in the middle so yeah so this fasting excludes those that are not feeling too well you know the very older people children pregnant women and then when you're on your periods you don't fast as well those that are very okay health wise you can fast if you don't have anything wrong with you if you're okay then you should fast Fasting excludes some people okay from not participating in it because it is not you know a do or die affair you get it is not something that you must do but if you are fit if you can then you should do it you should practice it you should fast shaban is the month that precedes ramadan in the islamic calendar it should ensure that we maintain a nutritious diet during ramadan okay so because we are fasting does not mean that uh, we shouldn't eat so well should it just a whole and if all no those are the times you need to even eat well, like eat good food and then eat a lot of fruits, a lot of fruits. If you can, if you can get it around you, please do. Fasting all through this early months is a mental and physical challenge. So you need to maintain a balanced diet. You make a list of dua, like <laughs> I like your supplication, just I like it to make it easier for you and direct. <laughs> so make sure that you highlight your duas. Dua is also supplication, okay? And then read, recite Quran. You need to recite Quran, okay? You can't just be fasting, fasting every day for 30 days or probably you know any amount of days you can without doing istighfar and doing dhikr and you know praying all of those things are what you know make your fasting meaningful very meaningful you need to you need to back up your fasting with praying and you know a lot of supplication you just need to be devoted you need to make this intention like there was this vlog i posted before now to plan your ramadan how you are going to you know organizing you need to do like the, the number of surahs you can recite per day all of these things you should have written them somewhere Fasting without backing it with all of this is, I'm not God, I'm not, you know, God's assistance, but I'm just saying that, you know, according to all that we have learned, you should fast with prayer. You shouldn't just fast because eh, it is Ramadan, eh, so yeah, we are hard to fast, I don't have time to recite Quran, I don't have time to pray. I don't... To me, I don't know, according to what we have read, we have learned so far, fasting ordinarily without backing it up with all of this is as good as you're not fasting. So please, ensure, even if it's just a surah you can recite in a day. Yes, it makes a lot of sense. Rather than not even reciting anything at all and giving excuses and uh, uh, what was this, what was that, this is this. Even if it is in the night when you get home, you can recite it. Please do. And make supplications. Back it up with dua. You don't just fast from morning to night and when it, when if all time comes, you eat and then that's it. You now wait for the next one, the next day. No. Fasting is not done that way. Please. If you have been doing it that way, please you need to stop it and learn, you know, the norm now. Learn how, learn the best way to do it, okay? You fast and accompany your fasting with prayer recitation of the whole quran you know praising god praising allah doing a lot of dhikr doing a lot of sadaqah it's very good doing all of this eh, is an indispensable you know 
practice during Ramadan. So you just need to do it, please. You need to do it. You just need to create that time, find that time. Even if it's during, if, if your place of work allow you to perform solar during the day, maybe do an answer, you can just, you know, quickly, you know, chip it in while you're, after prayer, you can just sit down and recite maybe two surah or one surah. Even if it's one or, but even if it's, it's a surah and you cannot recite all of it, if you can just recite maybe one to ten or at least you have done some, you have achieved something for that day. You have achieved something concerning Ramadan for that day. So please pray, pray a lot. All of us, we all need everything we are praying for. Don't think because you have this money, you have this money, you have this, you are, you are okay. No, you need to keep praying for more. You need to keep praying for a lot. You know, we have a lot of things bothering us. We need, you know, a lot of intervention. So please, let's ensure that we are doing the right thing during Ramadan, please. Because all of this, you know, DK, recitation of the whole Quran, supplication, you know, performing your salah, all of these are the qualities that makes you, you know, makes you reach Allah. You will feel his presence. You will feel that, yes, Allah is, you know, Allah is with me. Allah is accepting my dua. Allah is, you know, you will feel it. Please, all of these are the qualities that be positive about everything you do during Ramadan. Please, Allah will definitely grant our request. Just make sure that your intentions are pure. Your minds are good. You don't have any grudges with anybody. You don't have any hatred for anybody. Please. Make sure that whoever it is you have even offended, please, I am begging you, go and apologize. Don't feel too big or too smart or too whatever. If you have offended anybody, go and apologize. If you cannot do the apologizing physically, you do it with, you know, text. Send text message to that person. Please. You don't have to go into Ramadan with hatred in your mind, with hatred in your heart, with jealousy, with whatever, whatever it is you can qualify it with. Please, your mind needs to be very clean. You need to be very clean. You need to be calm. You need to be sure that, yes. You, you, you are good to start this Ramadan. Then another point I'm going to note is, let's ensure we adopt good habits, good character. Please. <laughs> Ramadan is very important to me. Like, that's why I'm really pondering on all of this. Thing. Like, I'm hammering on it. It is very important. I don't joke with Ramadan. Like, in fact, Muslims, especially Muslims all over the world, don't joke with Ramadan because it is a month of forgiveness. A month where, in fact, it is packed with beautiful and rich everything that you need. Everything you need to ask Allah for. You know, it's, 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 a, it's an opportunity. Let me just put it that way. It's a very big and beautiful and wide opportunity for you to, to be in contact with Allah one water. My list of supplications, eh? Ah, oh God. And the way I have planned to achieve all that I needed to achieve for this month, if I share it with you people, you, 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 you'll, be, you'll be like, what is it? I don't even on this earth. What? I don't even want to add. No, so please, please, I am begging us. Let's take this month serious. If we have not been doing the right thing during the month of Ramadan, please, let's start it with, with this 2023. Many of us, we use this month of Ramadan <laughs> to standardize our resolutions, you know? Just like I said, in fact, I have a lot of requests. I have a lot of requests. Ramadan is, this, is that month for you to cultivate and create a very healthy habit. In addition to forming excellent and religious routine, the good practices we need to, you know, imbibe, we need to adopt, we need to be doing every day, is saying our askar. That one is even very important. Nobody has to tell you that one. Being polite to others is key, please. It costs us nothing. It's good to be good. It's before Ramadan, there's a way you've been, you know, observing your salad during work hours. There are some bosses that I've worked in a place where I have a Christian boss. Yes. And during Ramadan, hey God, he respects that month. A, being a Christian, he respects that one to the fact that he will, he, sometimes he will even be the one to call the Muslims that, ah, it's two o'clock, now never go pray. Now no, we'll go pray. She didn't have to under the pray. We, I like him. He's so, he's so simple. He makes the working environment easy for you. He will give you that opportunity to do everything you need to do because he knows how we Muslims take Ramadan period so serious. No, that's how good a maker is. A maker is so selfless. Like, he's not, he's not, a, he's not a difficult, I've never worked with a difficult boss, have I? No, I haven't. I haven't worked with any boss that is so difficult. I don't know. Allah has really blessed me with having bosses and supervisors that are, mm -mm. yet in day two, I give it to her. Mm -mm. No. Oh, please, <laughs> don't let me divert this discussion. You should download Kibla Connection so you can just, you know, use it to get the right Kibla to face at your workplace, at your place of work when you want to observe your salat. So it's just that simple. Islam is not difficult. I don't know why some... So seriously, we have people that see Islam as one very difficult um, religion to practice, which is not. Serious, Islam is so simple. I don't know. It's so simple. But maybe it's because people don't have that time to practice it. You don't have that patience. Sadaqa is good. Mm? Okay? It's good anytime, any day. But doing it during Ramadan, oh my goodness. You will not want to miss doing this. It's like, I always love to give out. And my own giving out, I love to give to people that do not really have. People that, you know, that to eat morning and afternoon and evening food is somehow difficult for them. Those are the kind of people I like to give to. And another point I'm going to note is iftar, 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 okay? Our iftar food plan should be the LDS type of food. And then do not just make it your mouth alone, okay? If you have that provision to make for more, 
please do, okay? Allah will bless you and Allah will continue blessing us. As Even if you have the intentions to do it and you don't have the provisions yet, Allah has seen your mind. He will provide for you to do it. Even if you cannot do it now, you do it. I've been having these intentions for a very long time. And yes, this year, I am doing it. Alhamdulillah, I'm so happy. And also, encourage your children to fast. Let them learn how to start doing this now. They shouldn't start when they are maybe in their teens. If your child is 8, 9, 10, and they said, oh, mommy, daddy, I want to fast, allow them. Please encourage them. If they can do it from that very early in the morning till the break time in their school, they should start from somewhere.